Good day everybody, this is Mr Oz Video 1985 here with a brand new video. And this time around, and this time around I'll be doing my movies from 2012 I've seen and movies that I haven't seen but I want to see. So basically in the first part of this video will be movies that I have seen. Then I will show you the ones or I'll talk about the other ones that I want to see. In, from 2012. No particular order, these are the ones I have seen. Um, the first one is The Avengers, of course everyone knows what The Avengers are. You know, these the movie put in together, Iron Man, The Hulk, Thor, um, Thor, all these other superheroes together to fight um, Thor's brother, um, Thor's brother, Loki, an epic, a really good film. Um, I did go see this in the cinema, and yes, it was amazing. Like everybody says, what it was really amazing, and it's good to see how it built up to Avengers. You know, having the Iron Man film, having the um, Hulk, having the other Iron Man film, having Captain America, having thing, and what it is. I can't, I can't um, wait for the Avengers two to come out, and of course this year we have. Um, Iron Man 3 and Thor 2 come out. So yes, the Avengers. Next one I did see was The Dark Knight Rises, which I absolutely enjoyed. Um, it's very hard to pick between the Avengers and Dark Knight Rises because of course Dark Knight Rises is actually, you know, you know three set films, you know, Batman Begins, um, the Dark Knight and Dark Knight Rises. I enjoy this film as well. It's a good um, closure of the the trilogy, the three films. It's sad to see, you know, it's sad. Hopefully, you know, it's sad to see it go. But yes, hopefully they will have a new Batman films down the line. I and uh, probably another five. I think if they do new Batman films, they should be at least give it a break for a while. Know, at least five, maybe six years, we'll see what happens here. But Dark Knight Rises, I enjoy this very much. Out of the three film, out of the three ones, I kind of do like Dark Knight still, but yeah, the Rises is fantastic. The other one is the kind of prequel or in the same universe it is Prometheus. I did see this in the cinema, and I enjoy this one very much. Now, I um, just recently brought the Alien um, movies, so yes, I enjoyed Prometheus very much. You know, this a great science fiction. Oh, I thought it was a great. I it was a good science fiction film. You know, had different elements from the um, Alien films, so, and I believe so. Yes, Prometheus. Next one is I've seen. I've seen was Men in Black Three, of course. Um, and we all know what the Man in Black 3 is, uh, especially this one is a more time travelling when um, Agent J um, has to go back in time to to save his partner, um, Tom Lee Jones' character, and he meets up with a younger version of, of K. Um, absolutely um, enjoy this film. I think that the person they played, the younger Jane, um, Josh Brolin, Brolin, I think, Josh... I've um, done a fantastic job, and of course Will Smith, Tommy Lee Jones, yes, Man in Back 3. Um, next one is Total Recall, the 2012 um, semi cool remake. I enjoyed this one, I really did. Um, of course it's very different from the, the 90s version, um, different premise, you know, this one's based on Earth, the other one's based on Mars. Um, I, I don't really like the pair I haven't seen this year's not um, I haven't seen the 90s version of um, Total Recall for a long time. I have got it on Blu-ray, which I have to go see, um, watch, and I'll probably do a video down the line um, talking about both films. A lot of people are comparing one against the other, but you can't really because one's based on Earth, in Earth one's based on Mars. It is hard to say, oh, this is good, this is bad, you know, because they're not. Not, you know, not 
the settings are very different. But I'll draw and turn a record. Um, next one is I've seen was the Amazing Spider-Man. Of course, it's the remake from um, the remake of the Spider-Man trilogies. Um, of course, you got a new Peter Parker, um, played by Andrew Andrew Garfield, I believe. And yes, um, new premise on the Spider-Man movies. I did really enjoy this one. Um, the other one is the one that a bit of people either like or hated or mix and pieces is Battleship. Now I enjoyed Battleship. I know it's not really a storyline's a bit flimsy in the parts. It's just a movie to see big ships fighting aliens. I already thought when I go into this film that these ships were actually like you know like you know like Transformers robots and all that, but they really are not. You know, you see different different aliens, you see the aliens and things like that. Yes the whole premise is a bit silly, but it's just you know that's good blockbusters, a good um, action kind of thing to you know if you have a couple of hours spare it's not an outstanding film in that case, but just, oh, I, th I thought it was a fairly good movie. Another one is uh, is Ted. Um, of course, it's the one from the guy who created um, Family Guys. I can't believe Seth. Uh, I can't believe his last name. Um, I enjoyed this one. Now, I don't like a lot of films that have a lot, a lot of movies that have a lot of swearing and carrying on like that. But it's a good movie, you know, about this guy who um, wishes his teddy bear to come alive, and he does. And you see him so many years later, you know, he's living his, his teddy bear and, and things like that, and he's very, a very rude one, you know. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a funny one. Um, the other one is Ice Age 4, which I enjoy very much, um, because it's the fourth film in the Ice Age trilogy, or a trilogy in the Ice Age, what do you want to call it? I enjoyed this one as well, and I see nice to see the um, all the um, characters back in their um, thing. And the one I just recently watched today, just this came out, well, actually, officially comes out tomorrow, is Madagascar 3. Um, Europe's Most Wanted, I think. I enjoyed this one as well. I thought it was a fantastic film. Um, I kind of think it's. I do enjoy this. One. I I kind of think it is the, probably out of three the one of the best out of the three films. Um, it's a thing that's standing and it's, all these characters and the like cause the penguins and oh, it's just one of those films that you know, especially the, the characters of you know want to go back to the zoo and so they have to meet up with these others um, have, uh, circus animals and they eventually get back to New York but they realize that uh, they don't want to be there anymore so they decided to and you have this other and you have this woman chasing them along the um, this movie so kind of uh, wants to get Alex the lion um, head on her mental piece and it's just fun you know with the characters. So those are the films that I have seen for 2012. Um, next one's a couple of, of, of one, two, three, four, five films that I haven't seen but I want to see. The first one is of course the latest James Bond film, Skyfall. Um, I've just recently got into James Bond, no book getting the 50th, 50th um, anniversary um, James Bond um, movies. On DVD. I wish I got on Blu ray now because I do have a Blu ray play in my room now, so I wish I did get on Blu ray, but yes, I'm looking for this guy for. Another one I have, have in my collection, I haven't watched yet, is John Carter. Of course, this is the Disney's, um, Disney's um, movie. There's a lot of action in anyway. it. Um, the one that, another one that comes, I want to see which comes out at the end of the month. Is Looper, which is a kind of um, sci-fi kind of thing about going. I'm, I'm reading all the premises. I think of the film is, but I believe something about criminals from the past. Or, I'm not quite sure. 
Let's see if they're interested in the movie. Um, another one is the Disney's Pixar, so more of just Disney Pixar's Brave. And another one is Dread. Um, of course, this is the kind of, I don't know if it's a remake of such, I'm not quite sure, of George Dread, which was the um, one that with um, Sledfest Sloan in. This is the one with um, um, the other, I don't know if I forgot the fella's name. Keith, 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 um, Keith, I don't know. But anyway, yes, um, these are those are the ones I wanted to see. So yes, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Well, it's actually an 11 minute video, but we put a little of movies I have seen and movies I want to see in um, from 2012. I'll do another video like this. Um, talk about one films that I want to see in 2013. So look out for that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time. Catch you later.